Between rolling hills and endless skies, there lived a man named Charlie. By day, Charlie was the town's radio repairman, fixing static-filled sets for neighbors who couldn't imagine a night without music or the comforting voice of their favorite broadcaster. But by night, Charlie's world was a much quieter place. Charlie had always found solace in the glow of vacuum tubes and the hum of frequencies. But he wasn't searching for just music that night. No, Charlie was looking for something more. Something even he couldn't quite put into words. And then it happened. A voice, a woman's voice filled the room. It wasn't part of any station he'd ever heard. It was different. Familiar, yet foreign. Charlie was mesmerized. Testing, testing, is anyone out there? Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck between moments, like the world moves too fast and I'm just trying to catch up. You're not alone in that. I feel it too. Then tell me where you are. It was as are. if their hearts were connected by invisible strings, vibrating with every word they shared. Charlie didn't know who she was or where she came from, but he felt it. Something deeper than static and sound wave. I don't have much time left. The connection, it's unstable. Charlie, I'm not, I'm not from your time. I Her confession hung in the air like a thundercloud. Not from his time? What did that even mean? A glitch in the system connected us, but it's closing. Charlie, promise me something. Promise me you won't forget Charlie. I won't, I promise. Tell me how to find you. Days turned into weeks and weeks into years. But Charlie never stopped listening. Every night, he tuned into that same frequency, hoping against hope that she'd return. Some might say it was just a voice in the static, a figment of his imagination. But Charlie knew better, because sometimes love doesn't need time or even space to be real. It just needs a connection. So the first thing I would do is to choose the type of movie that I want for this particular video. And the type of movie that I'm interested in is the retro movie style or the vintage style. So all I have to do is to type in this prompt. So I will type in this prompt, give me five short retro movie story ideas. Then, then ChatGPT will give us five retro movie story ideas. As you can see, if you scroll down, we have the five retro movie story ideas then the next thing to do is to read through it and see the one that is interesting to you if you have a story idea that is perfect but if you don't have a story idea that means you have to go to chat GPT to give you story ideas or movie ideas the next thing i'll do is to choose the one that i would like then i'll ask chat GPT to expand on it so I like the first story. I will now tell ChatGPT to expand on it. So what I will type is expand the title Radio Wave of Love like a narrator and make it five minutes long. Then I'll send it. As you can see, ChatGPT is giving us the result of what we asked for. So the next thing you have to do is to copy the script and paste it on Microsoft Word. Then after that, you have to split the characters or the voices that are in the script, just like this. In my script, I have only three voices, the narrator's voice, Charlie, and the mysterious woman. So as you can see, these are all the things that the, nar the narrator said, and these are all the things that the mysterious woman said, and these are all the things that Charlie said. So you have to split them so that when you are converting them into speech, it will be very easy for you to do. So once you're done, the next thing to do is to go back to ChatGPT and type in this prompt. Give me a test prompt, Pro Scene 1, for a test to video generation. Note that each video clip is 5 seconds long and once you're done typing that, you send it. Then ChatGPT will give you test prompt that will allow you to generate video clips for scene one. Once you're done splitting your script into two into different character voices, all you have to do is to copy everything that each character said and convert them to speech. For the purpose of this video and this tutorial, I will use OpenAI TTS. 
OpenAI TTS is a test to speed generator. It is the same company that has ChatGPT, that has OpenAI TTS. It is very realistic and way cheaper than 11 Labs. So I always use OpenAI TTS. So this one is Charlie. I'll copy Charlie, go to OpenAI TTS, paste it. Um, for Charlie, I'm going to use this voice. Then choose the speed. I always leave my speed in one. Then choose the quality. I always leave my quality in HD quality. Then I click on generate speech. Once that is done, you will see sources. Then click on go to history. Wait for a few seconds for this to be done. Then all you have to do is click here to download and it will be downloaded. Once you're done with that, go back to Vocalize, clear your dashboard and copy the next tests. Now I will copy the mysterious woman. I'll go back to open AI TTS and I'll paste the test. For this, I am using Shima as the voice. Then I'll click on create speech. Once that is complete, I'll repeat the same process and I'll click on download. So now that we are done, the next thing we have to do is to go over to Canva Go over to Canva, click on presentation, and to, you will be redirected into a new page. Then scroll down to the app section. The apps, select apps, and scroll down again. Under trending, select the magic media option, then click on videos. Here you will enter the prompts that ChatGPT has provided for you and the videos will be generated. So let's copy the first one. and paste, then click on generate video. It takes like two minutes, which is very reasonable for every generation to be complete. Unlike other video generators that takes more than um, five to 10 minutes for every clip to be complete. This is very reasonable. This is very beautiful, very, very beautiful. As you can see, the this is the result of what we have. So all we have to do is to click on it, okay? Once you click on it, it will come into your first clip, your first page. Then add another page, continue to add pages. Your first page already has a clip. Once you add your video clip to any page, make it a background. So click click on the video, go to this, go to more, go to this three dots here, click on it, scroll down, and select set set the video as background. So if if we play it, you can see this is so beautiful. This is really amazing. This is simply amazing. I'm very impressed. I can't even imagine that Canva can make such videos. And it's pretty neat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is our first clip. And we continue to copy and paste. Then I'll have to clean the one that I have already. Okay. Clean the one that is already on the text prompt. And just copy all and delete them. Then copy the second one. Then 
and paste it and click on generate video again wait for another one to two minutes for it to be complete so you can see our generation is complete within one minute and we have to click on it again it appear that we click here and set it as a background Control c okay go over to canva and generate the video so here you go again we have it click on it and do the same thing the same process over and over again in order to make all your characters to speak you have to click on the image you generated i want this character to speak so i'll click on it then i'll click on edit once you click on edit click on apps then scroll down look for d and d click on it upload your avatar for me i'll upload this lady so here is the lady then that will be our presenter click on it make sure it's highlighted then click on audio choose the file you want and choose the audio file that represents this woman or whoever you're working with then scroll down and click on generate wait for a few minutes for your results to be completed while you're waiting add a new page a completely blank page and make sure the page is highlighted so this page is highlighted as you can see so once the generation is complete it will say it is successful then click on this again and make it to be a background so what i will do i'll click on this and see what the character is saying and i'm just trying to catch up i don't have much time left the connection it's unstable charlie i'm not i'm not from your time i'm i'm in 2025 a glitch in the system connected us but it's closing charlie promise me something promise me you won't forget charlie i'll be waiting so the next thing i have to do is to duplicate all of this audio in a way that it will match my script because this lady did not say everything at his at a stretch what i will do is to duplicate them then i will now crop each of them to match my script if you notice the first thing the, la the lady said was testing testing is anyone out there then i will have to go back to the first clip and crop it in a way that it will stop as testing testing is anyone there I feel like I'm stuck between moments, like the world. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck between moments. Testing, testing, is anyone out there? Testing, testing, is anyone out there? Testing. Testing, is anyone out there? So once you're done editing, you just have to download it by clicking on share. Then you click on download. Download as an MP4 video. Ensure that you download it in a 4K format. Then you click on download. For a software like Canva to be able to generate something like that, I think it's worth trying. And yeah, it's an obvious difference between that and the high standard test video generators like Kling. But Canva is almost free to use. 
So in a situation whereby you have an option to use Canva, which the pro version is very cheap and you can use that and the free version can also get you something similar to that, I think it's worth the try. So let me know in the comment section if you're going to try it and get a similar result of what I have already done. Please do not forget to like this video if you found value and if you think that this video was very helpful to you. Like, subscribe and turn on the post notifications so that you will be notified anytime I post a new video. So see you in my next video. Bye.